guys, today I have one of my good friends, Brandon. He owns a company called Fanta Suites that has to do with like Airbnb, but they're like the sickest Airbnbs ever. And yeah, so he's gonna teach you how to make money with Airbnb. Check this out. Guys, what's going on? This is Brandon. Tell them who you are, what you do, and how you're changing the world. How you doing? My name is Brandon. Uh, Brandon Shaw. I own Fanta Suites Property Management. Started Fanta Suites roughly uh, a couple years ago. Once I got into Airbnb, one of my friends used to do Airbnb downtown Chicago, and she would just travel all the time. I didn't know how she got into it, and I wanted to start traveling too because I was working at corporate, and so I just wanted to figure it out. Found out that she would basically rent out her apartment and then use the revenue that she made and go travel with it. So I was like, there has to be some sort of business in this. So an opportunity came up where her property was, I think, up for leasing. And so what I did was, I was like, well, don't sublease it to anybody else. I would rather you sublease it to me. And then I learned the whole process and see how you did things. And so long story short, what I did was I leased out her property and I put on Airbnb and through trial and error within six months, I figured out a whole working system to, to basically operate the whole Airbnb system. So what I mean by that, I integrated different services to, to automate uh, the entire process. So in total, I would do all the guest communication, all the key exchanges, all the marketing. Marketing is, is a key thing also in Airbnb because it's off a of review base. So after the six months where I really learned you know, the, the structure of Airbnb and how it functions, I realized there's a larger market. So Airbnb is actually not even the only platform that allows you to rent out a, a private residence on a nightly basis. Through time, I realized that there's so many platforms out there that I wanted to utilize all of them. And so what I wanted to do was integrate all those under one system so I can get you know maximum reach for market for marketing. And so that's what I did. I, I utilized a property management software that allowed me to integrate, you know, multiple different uh, platforms. So I have partnerships with the Google Hotel Ads, um, Airbnb, HomeAway, VRBO, ExpediaBooking.com, 30 of the world's largest booking channels um, to promote one single listing. That's and so, cool. yeah, so I mean, honestly, through trial and error, I've just started collecting, you know, just more and more things that makes the guest experience, you know, just that much more better. You know, integrating like smart systems, let everybody likes new technology. And so being able to check in without keys and just using a keypad entry utilizing the, the Google Home system also is, a, is an extra value added. And it, it, it's just an overall experience. So now I moved down to Tampa roughly a year ago, started a business, didn't know anybody down here. I just had the concept and a dream and through networking things, the, my business is actually scaling you know, very quickly. And now we're open up in several states. So Hell yeah. What are the states that you're in? So right now um, we're in Florida, all the way around the Tampa, Tampa Bay area, all the way out to St. Petersburg, Reddington Beach, um, also Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, Denver, County. Colorado, um, Breckenridge, Colorado, and San Diego, California. We're actually able to operate our business anywhere in the country with our system. So I create a system that we can do everything remotely by integrating all those different companies that I use as far as like the like professional maid service and things of that matter. So. Dope. So like if they tried to do it, how hard would it be? So there, there's a lot of things that I had to learn myself over the six months when I fr first got into Airbnb. One of the biggest things was coordinating cleaning. You know, I thought I could do the cleaning by myself. At the time, I lived in Wisconsin. And so I drive two hours, two and a half hours to go down there and clean. And then sometimes I change the keys. And I was like, there has to be a better way. There's no way that I have to go down to Chicago two and a half hours every single time I had a guest. Yeah. Um, so that's, I mean, that's one of the major struggles that, you know, some hosts have with it. Others don't know how to make listings, you know. So like as far as the content, you got to make sure you have premium content within the listing. You got to have professional photos because on the end, you, you have to start thinking, what would you be looking for if you were looking for a home to rent on Airbnb? So if you change the way you think about how you want to rent out your property on the consumer side, you also start to figure out what else I can add to add more value. Yeah, dude. And like, you only focus on like the dopest of homes. Yeah. Like yes, yeah. high end stuff, not yeah. any like poo poo's thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't, uh, so I try to stick to that level just because um, you eliminate a lot of the problems. So like, one of the things I want to eliminate is just like, people coming into the property, destroying it, partying, things like that. And so what I want to do is cater to a you know higher level audience, the people that will take care of your place, people that are willing to spend money. And so that means I can reinvest a lot of money back into the property. So what I'm focusing on is that's the luxury Airbnb style unit. So like right now I have a couple mansions, one on Apollo Beach. I'm working with a triplex out in Reddington Beach. Um, so just like your higher end properties um, to give you that fancy sweet feel. So like if someone has a property that they want to put on 
Airbnb, but I want to manage it, like, how could they get in contact with you? Like, how would that work? Yeah, so actually, we can manage them multiple different ways. We can manage homes that are um, that you partially live in, but I would just need at least six to eight months where it's vacant, like completely vacant, not where you're coming in, you know, three weeks out of the month, you just expect me to, you know, rent it out one week. So that doesn't work like that. But if you would like Fantasy Suites to manage it 100%, um, what we would do is we'd have a conversation with you and have a consultation and then figure out all the services that you would need to tell you, you know, how much your property is worth. So one of the major things that we also use is a software that pulls data from Airbnb that gives us an evaluation of what any property in the country is worth. Okay. So it gives me a few figures. It gives me an estimate of the annual revenue on short-term um, rentals. So like, um, it's kind of like your Zillow for Airbnb. Okay. And then it also gives me an evaluation on um, the average occupancy for that property. Um, so it just gives me credible numbers to find out if your property is going to be worth put it on Airbnb. And then from there, I tell you how much you can make and then our services. Okay, dope. So what if like someone wanted to learn how to do this? Is yep. that, do you guys... Do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked because that's actually um, another uh, adventure that I'm on right now. Currently, I just created uh, an educational course to teach other people to grow their own Airbnb business using my infrastructure and all my integrations. And so I'm actually licensing it out and I already sold it to a guy out in San Diego and now I'm teaching him how to grow his own Airbnb business. That's dope and yeah. it's fully automated, guys. Like it's You can run it dope. anywhere. Like, <laughs> laptop lifestyle type shit. Um, and yeah, is there anything else you want to... Yeah, I mean... Uh, it's, it's, it's a great industry to be in. Um, I, I love what I do. Um, I'm interested in, in giving more information, more value to other people that are in the industry. If you have questions, anything like that, feel free to reach out. You know, We're able to operate anywhere in the country. So if you have technically your property, you're a real estate investor, you're looking for more property, I can find you know uh, investment properties for you, give you valuation, and then also manage it. So we're an all-in-one solution. So Wow, like legit. <laughs> That's awesome. It's super dope. All right, guys. So his like, stuff will be in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, see you later.